This is the Google Pixel 6a disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Now before I start the video, I just want to say one thing. I have no idea if this is an isolated incident or what, but this Pixel 6a was a brand new unit and I opened the seals on the box myself. However, when I took a closer look at the back, both the camera lens bezel and the back plate are scratched up. Both have scratches or scuffs on them, and there's some dust or debris inside the box. So I'm not sure if this will be the case for anyone else. Here's a closer look, and I'm not sure how well the camera will pick up the scuffs or scratches. Let me know in the comments below if your unit has this type of issue. The screen, however, doesn't have any scratches since it has this protector over it that comes in the box. Alright, let's move on with the disassembly. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Next, we need to apply heat to the front of the phone to loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the screen off. Now be careful when you're getting your plastic pry tool in, you don't damage the screen underneath. Once the screen is loose from the frame, you need to lift it from the right side to the left. But be careful since the screen cable is still attached. There's a metal cover over the connector that needs to be removed. Now the screen cable can be disconnected from the main board. Here's a better look at the screen. The plastic housing for the front facing camera is located on top. And there's a plastic frame around the screen. This plastic frame also has catches around the sides which in addition to the adhesive around the screen, help hold the screen to the frame. Even though the flex cable for the fingerprint sensor can be disconnected from the screen, the sensor itself is adhered or glued to the screen, so I'm assuming screen replacements will come with this fingerprint sensor pre-attached. The protective film on the bottom by the charger port needs to be peeled off. There are 16 T4 or Torx 4 screws which need to be removed. The screw sizes are different, so make sure to remember where each screw goes. Now the mid plate can be lifted up and removed. There's a large piece of graphite film over the front of the mid plate, and the graphite film helps transfer heat. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner. Now that we have access to the battery cable, we're going to disconnect that first. Now the provided plastic pull tab can be used to help pry the battery off. Trying this battery off was much easier compared to the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. Now let's peel off this piece. And then we have a better look at the battery, which has a minimum rating of 4306 milliamp hours and a typical rating of 4410 milliamp hours. The bottom speaker assembly can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at that, and there's a mesh filter over the opening. There's a single T4 screw which is holding down the main board that needs to be removed. And then the main board can be lifted up and removed. Taking a closer look at the main board, the charger port is soldered onto the main board, so making a charger port replacement will be difficult. The primary microphone is located right next to it. The SIM reader is located here. There's copper tape on these shields, as well as some thermal paste over this one. The proximity sensor is located on top, as well as the connectors for the two back cameras. And those connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. Here's a better look with the removable shields removed. There's some thermal gel on these chips and the processor. Here's a better look at the RAM and processor and the ROM or storage. Taking a look at the other side, we have a better look at the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, the 12.2 megapixel primary lens, and the connector for the 8 megapixel front facing camera. The main camera is the only camera with OIS or optical image stabilization. And more copper tape on the back shields. And there's a red rubber gasket around the charger port. Once the removable shield on the bottom is removed and the copper tape is peeled off the shields, 
we can see more thermal gel on these chips. On the frame itself, there's more copper tape which sits underneath the motherboard, and there looks to be a cutout on the frame for wireless charging, but there's no wireless charging coil. There's only the flex cable which leads to an NFC antenna located in the center. Here's a better look with the graphite film and copper tape peeled off. There's your NFC antenna. The backplate on the Pixel 6a is removable. You just have to apply some heat and pry it off. You also need to make sure to completely peel off this NFC antenna flex cable or peel off and remove the flex cable from the frame over here so you don't tear it if you're prying off your backplate. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. And here's the frame itself. The top panel and the camera lens cover can both be heated up and pried off as well. The top speaker is held down with some adhesive, including the flex cable for it, so we need to gently pry that off. Here's a better look at that. It has a red rubber gasket around the opening, and there are two locations with the small white foam balls. And finally, there's a secondary microphone located on top, which is attached to the flex cable for the LED flash. For the repairability score, I give this phone a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, reapply the screen. Power on the phone, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.